Hi folks, this is video number three, how to work out the uncertainty in the gradient and the uncertainty in the y-intercept. On an Excel graph, it's the bit that people don't like, but it's pretty straightforward if you just follow the steps. Right, this gradient has got an uncertainty in it. How do we work that out? Well, we use an inbuilt function in Excel called LineST, or LineST, or LineEstimate, depends what you want to call it. And here's the way you do it. You highlight four cells anywhere in your Excel spreadsheet. You need those four cells. And then in the address bar or the function bar, you type equals line S. When you first start typing that, as soon as you start typing it, it'll come up with it. Then it says, what's your known Y values? So you highlight those Y values. And then press a comma. And what that does is it puts in the cell locations of those Y values. So cell B11 up to cell B60. And then we want our known X values. So that's these ones. So they go in another comma. And then we have to type true, comma, true. And the reason for that is just so that Excel knows what to do with all of those values. And then, the important bit, Control, Shift, Enter. And down here, in these four little cells, which can I make them bigger? Yeah, there's the data we want. That is the gradient. Below it is the uncertainty in the gradient. Now you could work that out as a percentage of that, it works out to be 1%. Over here we have the y-intercept and we have the uncertainty in the y-intercept. Now why is that important, you might think? Well, that shows up any systematic uncertainty and also shows you how confident you are that your graph might go through the origin. Anyway, we can talk more about that in your evaluation, but that's how you use Linest to work out the gradient, uncertainty in the gradient, the y-intercept, and the uncertainty in the y-intercept. That's it.